Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, 1132 in Honolulu, 532 in New York on Thursday, 7th day of September 2023, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. As we get close to the conclusion of this shortened trading week that began on Tuesday, once again, it is dollar strength that overwhelmingly decided the fate of both gold and silver. We are looking at spot gold pricing first to show you that spot gold closed up $2.50, but on closer inspection, and this is the Kitco Gold Index, normal trading bid spot gold pricing higher to the tune of $6.10 or 0.32%, but dollar strength took away $3.60 of today's gain, and that's how we resulted in a fractional gain of $2.50 in spot gold, currently fixed at $1,918.90. The reason that I looked at the Kitco Gold Index first was to put gold futures into perspective. We'll do that to greater detail when we pull up a dollar chart, but we are looking at a daily gold chart of December futures, the continuous contract. You can see the candle right here. It is a doji candle. It did trade to a higher low today, but a lower high and an extremely small body. That small body can be an indication of market consolidation. It can also signal a pivot point. It is occurring though at a price point, the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. I have a data set that begins roughly at 1914 up to the recent highs just below 1980. And as you can see, the 61.8% Fib retracement comes in at $1,939.20, was the primary reason for putting our stop at 37. And if not for dollar strength, we would have seen fractional gains rather than fractional declines on the day. In fact, for the better part of the day, gold was trading in green, by 30 to 60 cents. Maintain your current long position, maintain your current stop. And traders, we get a clear indication of how strong the dollar is. If you recall from yesterday's show, we talked about this candle here, which was a small bodied spinning top. It showed that the market strength could have been waning, but it certainly picked up again today. This longer body candle is the daily dollar index candle that was created on Thursday, 7th day of September. The dollar gained about a quarter percent, and the index is currently fixed at 104.709. That has been what has been holding back any kind of real momentum in terms of gold prices moving higher. And that's what we focused on on today's letter. Take a look at these lows that came in roughly in the middle of July, just above 99. And through July, all of August into the first week of September, it has gained approximately 5% in value when compared to the basket of currencies that the dollar index trades against. We don't see any really strong resistance till about 105.03. That is the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement. But as I said yesterday, our hope is that we will see both dollar strength, hopefully a little more tepid than this, along with higher pricing in gold so that gold once again begins to close in the positive. And traders, while dollar strength does affect both gold and silver, it is the buying and selling of market participants that I think has been more defined in silver with market participants bidding the precious white metal lower down today by 1.12% or 26 and a half cents, taking the most active December contract to $23.24. When we look at recent activity or this price decline, it is not near any substantial Fibonacci area or the 50% retracement. And in fact, yesterday broke below the 
2% Fib retracement level. Although if we do see a potential level of support occur in gold, we could get some sympathy buying in silver, but the price decline in silver in terms of the percentage drawdown continues to outweigh anything we have seen in gold. We are not convinced that it is time to enter a long position in silver at this time. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.